Hey guys, what's up? We're back at base camp here and I have a viewer request video for you. Jim, this is for Jim. Jim requested a catch and cook video, which I haven't done really in a long time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I make my king salmon jerky. And we're here on Lake Ontario and uh, the kingfish has been good this year. And uh, the other night was one of the craziest nights I've ever had a king fishing. Um, we had cold water inside, crazy currents, tons of bait. We had fish on the surface, sharking around, and it was crazy. I just went out after work. All I wanted to do was test my new downrigger setup on the new boat. And uh, we just basically got attacked by kings. And I did release quite a few, but they're so wild. It was so chaotic that we ended up having to kill a couple. And... Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to do uh, catch clean cook and I'm going to show you we're going to start out with the uh, king catch in action and we're going to clean them up and then I'm going to show you how I make my salmon jerky. Now our kings here on Lake Ontario, um, I'm not knocking them, but uh, to me they don't taste as good as the wild Pacific salmon. They just, it's probably their diet, their lifestyle, whatever. Um, they are still they are still good, um, but with a lot of people, salmon's like a love it or hate it. You know, some people love that salmon flavor, some people don't. But this recipe, um, slice the fillets up, basically turn them into jerky with a really good marinade, and I think it's really good. You know, if you're just sitting around having some cocktails, snacking, it's good stuff. Your friends are gonna love it, or uh, you can even take it on hunting, fishing trips with you. A lot of times, I'll take it ice fishing uh, after I back sealed it. So we'll uh, we'll start off with the uh, with the crazy night of salmon fishing here. Hope you guys enjoy. Not okay. <laughs> That's fake news, man. Oh, he's jumping. What was it? Did you see what it was? Oh, I did. Yeah. Is it? Wait, look, you want off. Might be a small salmon. What? Might be a small salmon. Wait, shark. Okay. Charging the beer. Yeah, I'm not doing a great job driving here either. Oh. What we get? What we get? Ready? It's like a salmon. Uh, came, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> All right, we got to. Uh, I got to try and get him right. Actually, try and bring him right up here on the side of the boat if you can. It's a salmon. Try and bring him right up here to my net if you can. Got him. <laughs> Just lay him right there. Just lay him down. Oh man, salmon. No, you're all right. Yeah, just lay, just lay, leave it lay right there. Just watch that turn, man. We're turning hard. Go back to the port if you can. <laughs> He's up on top too. Yeah, there's fish in here. This is this angle looks really good actually. You can just keep us pointed this way for now. Yeah. I don't know, man. He might be about the same size actually. Oh man, this rod looks like it's gonna go. I think that's got a fish on it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm serious, man. It might be a small one, but just leave it there for now, unless it pops. I think that way if you can. I'm gonna try to bring him up alongside. Okay. Try and net him in the same spot if we can. Right. Another king. I got a pretty light line on here. This fish is wild, man. There you go. It's <laughs> a nice one. What about the other one? Yeah, I'll check that in a second. 
Bloody decks, man. Salmon slime everywhere. All right. <laughs> yeah, but I don't I don't feel like dealing with it. <sighs> okay. Either or. Big one was on the Magnum NK Purple Frog on the Green Diver. And Eric's was on the that's that dream weaver green dream weaver we got a slick line running like north south here you can see where the water's slick and there's wild current out here tonight it's like we get hit a certain spot of the slick line and it just turns the boat right around like now <laughs> it's wild it looks like it If, it's a, if that's a coho, we want it. it. Might be a coho. Let's go slow. Where you want? Are we just left in the boat? No, because that'll kill him for sure if we do that. Okay. That's a king. I'm gonna try and let him go. Right. Um. Wonder if we'll stay. Try and let me see if I can get at him here. Nice night. All right, we're gonna clean our kings up here. Shout out to my buddy Al, he showed me this trick. Um, I'm gonna end up putting these in the smoker, but I'm gonna go ahead and fillet them and skin them. But uh, the trick is, when you're trying to go all the way down from the back and fillet this thing to the tail, a lot of times your knife gets hung up in this belly meat and you don't really want that belly meat anyway. So what I'm gonna do is go in right here behind the peck fin. Straight through. And we're just gonna cut all the way back. Do about there. And just take all that off. And then we'll go ahead and do our fillets. There we go. So, still got the top of the rib cage here. We just basically lost that belly meat. And that's not a big deal because I don't really want that anyway. So now when I go to the other side here, same thing. Cut down in until I hit the vertebrae. And just follow it back. There we go, two nice easy fillets. I know like some of you guys will say, well, you're losing some good meat along the belly here. I mean, yeah, you're losing a little, but, you know, if you get your knife hung up in there and you make a sloppy cut down along the vertebrae, you end up losing meat that way, too. So, I really like this trick. Seems to work good. Got some nice fillets. Alright. So now, I'll just, uh, take what's left of the ribs out, which isn't much.
That's it. Two nice fillets. Alright, I'm in the process of skinning our fillets here. Because I'm getting ready to put them in the brine. Uh, I'll flash the brine recipe up on the screen here. It's pretty simple. Not too many ingredients. But I want to show you a trick I do to get this lateral line out of these fillets. Uh, this is something I do with perch and walleye and everything, but it also works really good with salmon. So this is their lateral line right here. You got some pin bones up here. And what I do is go to the tail end of the fillet, make a slit on either end of the lateral line, and then just peel that away and that'll peel right out of the fillet okay so there's our top half that still has the pin bones in it and then this is our bottom half peel that right out of there because all this meat right here that I just peeled out that's when you <clears throat> take a bite of fish and get that real fishy bite that's like oh man that's low tide right there that's what you don't want so now you just got to deal with the pin bones you can either uh i've skinned it so you can pull them out with pliers or you can just fillet them out whatever you choose to do but uh it's called zipper in them just uh, make a slit on either side of the lateral line and pull that nasty meat right out of there there it is in the brine. I'm going to throw it in the fridge. It's going to soak up a lot of that dark, rich color from the soy sauce. We're going to leave it in the fridge for a couple days to marinate. Here's our salmon. It's taking on a nice dark color from the uh, soy in the marinade. And I put it on racks. And what I did this time is I put them right on the um, smoker racks and just put a cookie sheet underneath them and uh, just put them in the fridge for a day and that lets them kind of start to dry out they get that nice sticky pellicle on them that helps the smoke flavor stick to them and then I dusted everything both sides with some black pepper and now we're gonna put them in the smoker here we're gonna run some apple wood chips on them and we're gonna give them about four hours of smoke at about 210 degrees So it's late night here again, but uh, our salmon just finished in the smoker here. And I ran it for about four hours, and it's looking pretty good. Um, still has a little moisture to it, but you could definitely stop at this stage if you don't mind having a little chew in it. If you want to dry it out further, uh, which I do just a little bit, I think, you just want to run it in the dehydrator, uh, jerky temperature for a few hours and uh, then it'll be dried right out so i'm gonna go ahead and run mine for a few hours and then we'll package it up what do you think what do you think does it smell good <laughs> i think he likes it all right this is the finished product here i'm just packing it in quart ziploc bags and you could also vac seal it if you wanted to but it's great, it has great flavor, stores a long time. You can just uh, take it with you on your fishing or hunting trips. So try the recipe out and let me know what you think in comments.